Yeah, yeah, Johannes, Johannes Camp, they're grimy, grimy niggas. I mean, some of them could be of the elect. Yeah, some of them. You know, they, hey, man, I might run into them, and they might yeah. be cool and shit, yeah. but they're under that, they're under the uh, uh, Johannes spell, man. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Well, like I said, for the damn past months, uh, the brother Tazaria, we've been getting on you about because through the spirit we see that you said, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, but we can leave him alone, man. Yeah. I mean, if the spirit jump on yeah, us, if, if, if he don't get it, if he's of the elect, he's gonna come it. out of it. If he's not of the yeah. elect, yeah. he's gonna perish come. right along with Yahana. Yeah. Well, I brought him up just to make Yohana a point. Yahana is gonna perish. Well, he gonna perish. There's, no, there's nothing you can do, Yahana. You yeah. can't. We, we are 100% sure that you're not gonna make it, man. <laughs> 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 and so are you, you uh, Well, he knows he's not gonna make you it. That's why he's a. Make that's why he's a heroin addict, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you up there, man. You you on dope, man. You shooting up, man. <laughs> I know you do. I know you are, man. We we caught you. We caught you, man. I don't know. And then, you know his favorite song, is Cloud Nine, and Temptations. That, that song was about getting on heroin. Yeah. Cloud Nine. That's where you at, y'all. Cloud Nine. <laughs> man, you remind me of David Ruffin, man. Okay, you're up there shooting up all them drugs and shit like that, man. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, but you ain't, man, you man, you Satan, man. And then I noticed you haven't made no more, you haven't made no more appearances since that little uh, video uh, interview. Because we got on your ass so bad. He's like, look, man, I better stay off the goddamn camera, man. I better not show my face, man. Probably, you got to go to Betty Ford, man. You get Go dry out there. Well, he got the money. He got the money for it, man. Yeah, all that yeah, money the, the Rothschilds sent him. <laughs> Betty Ford waits for you. <laughs> you got a precept? I got a precept. Uh, this is the book of Psalm 119 and 55. But I'm going to say this again, Johanna. I'm General Johanna. He, you're not going to make it, man. You ain't going to make it, boy. You're going, to, you're going the way of Lahab, Yeshai, and Gazak, <laughs> yep. and the rest of them demons, man. Yep, that's right. Skaghead. <laughs> uh, like I was thinking about this guy, Gazak. Gazak, you, you never saw this guy. You never saw him teach class. You never saw him at the cla at the at the camps except for maybe three times, Con. three or f maybe five times, and three of those times he was sloppy drunk. But if they had like a bowling thing, if they were gonna get together and go bowling or rent a boat and go fishing, he was always there. He always he always worked out. Well, I'm a, I'm gonna call in and I'm gonna take two days off so I can go out there on on on, on the boat and shit. Cause the, cause but you were a good actor because everybody thought you were a man of, of the Lord because you looked the part. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you look the part, okay? Hey, like the scriptures say, lovers of pleasure, rather than well, that was that was uh, him. Yeah. yeah, that was that was yeah. that was uh, 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 Gazak, man. Oh, yeah. 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 Yep, yep, yep. Them parties, they yeah, man. A lot, of, a lot of them guys at the old school, man. Y'all don't know about the old school, man. They used to throw a lot of parties, man. Yeah. And I went to a couple of them until I found out <laughs> this shit is bullshit. And I used to not go to the parties, man. And them guys used to bring me to council for not going to the, to the parties, man. And I used to curse their ass out in the council. I said, motherfucker, I ain't come over here to go to no goddamn party, man. I, I came here to learn this truth and to teach the word, man. You know? I got a like Mo. Yeah, hey, not to get on Mo, but yeah. Mo, I remember when I first came in, he said, we're going we gonna to go to great adventures. <laughs> and I, and I, I'm like, I, I got an attitude about that. I said, what the fucking great? What are we going to do in great adventures? We're going to open up a camp out there, man? Yeah. Say, I ain't, come, I ain't coming to this truth to go to no goddamn great adventures, man. You know? I don't even like going with my family, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm, hey, what you know, I'm pissed. Like, well, fuck, I got to go to some goddamn great adventures, man. <laughs> well, I ain't here. I wouldn't put here to go to... <laughs> <laughs> to go to no goddamn great adventures, man. Yeah, well, you know. That's why. Well, that's why Elder Abba Bivens is always getting on Mo. We we heard the stories back at the old school. Hey, because King Masha used to get simple, man. Even back when he was coming up underneath, because you know he came up underneath Abba Bivens. And I got I heard it from Elder Ariya. Abba Bivens was a rough man. That was his exact words. He said Bivens was a rough man. All right, and Ariya was rough. Elder Ariya was rough. <laughs> Well, well, yeah, uh, Mo King Marshall got simple one time. I know he sat up there and said, "I wish I could hit the lottery. I, I take all y'all to Disney World." <laughs> you really think I'm gonna you know, get some, get a goddamn ca a case of luggage and take get on a goddamn plane? I don't like fucking planes anyway. And and go all the way, fly all the way down to fucking Florida to go to some goddamn great to to Disney World, man. Bullshit. See some, yeah, like 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 you said, to see uh, Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse and yeah, yeah, yeah. Goofy and shit, Donald Duck. Are you out? I mean, I'll 
roundhouse kicked all the motherfuckers, man. Yeah, some of you so-called Israelites, you believe that, man. You think like we're the Partridge family, we got a Partridge family oh. bus. Oh, they got another video. <laughs> Hold up. They got another video out of uh, Nate's men in Las Vegas, and they're out there at a shooting range, man, laughing and joking and shooting shit, man. They were out there at a shooting range, and they were shooting shit, man. I guess that's the new thing, because hey, Nate talked about his guns. Nate, Nate, Nate talked about... Um, well, I didn't uh, see it long enough. I, yeah. That's just, you know, I'd fuck this, man. Hey, well, Nate talked about his guns. He talked about how everybody in his family knows how to shoot and all that. Yeah. Well, he, he, trusts, he trusts in that gun, man. Guys, totally carnal, man. I got a scripture, if I may. I'll just bring it out. This is the book of Psalms 199 and 55. It says, I have remembered thy name, O Lord, in the night, and have kept thy law. Now, you guys talking about, hey, keep the commands, keep the commandments. That's a cold cut. Psalm 119 and 55. I have remem remembered thy name, O Lord, in the night. Because we're in the night right now. All right? The scriptures say, arise ye, cry out in the night. The day is going to come when Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the sun. Just like in the day the sun comes up, Yahweh Shai is our sun that's about to come up. All right, so it says, I have remembered thy name, O Lord, in the night and have kept thy law. So part of keeping the law is remembering the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yeah, give me, uh, give me uh, uh, Zephaniah uh, 3 and start from 6, and we're going to read on down. And this is one of Nate's favorite scriptures. <clears throat> Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 6. I have cut off the nations, their towers are desolate. I made their streets waste, that none passeth by. Their cities are destroyed, so that, so that there is no man, that there is none inhabitant. Verse 7. I said, Surely thou wilt fear me, thou wilt receive instruction, so their dwelling should not be cut off. Howsoever I punished them, but they rose early and corrupted all their doings. Verse 8. Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord. Until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation. Even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. For then will I turn to the people a pure language that they may call, all call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. Wow. Now. He making it. He read that scripture, and he makes it seem like nobody knows the name until all these things happen, and then the Most High gonna lay the name on us, man. It's talking about there's some of us that do know the name, but there's gonna be a point when the kingdom comes that all of us is gonna know, know the name. Now, if you're gonna lose, use that logic, give me uh, Hebrews uh, eight and six. If you're gonna lose, use that logic. Then don't go around telling people to keep the law. Go to that and then also go to, uh, uh, no, 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 no. Well, whatever you got in Jeremiah, I don't know where you're going, but go to Colossians uh, 2 and 16. This is the book of Hebrews 8 and 6. But now hath he or obtained a, a more excellent ministry by how much also he is, a, he is a mediator of a better covenant which was established upon better promises. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord." For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws. In after those days means when the kingdom is established. It says, uh, after those days, uh, saith the Lord, uh, I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a power and they shall be to me a people. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. And that he saith a new covenant, he hath made the first old. Now that which decayeth and waxeth old is ready to vanish away. Now, based upon the logic of Zephaniah, none of us have to keep the law. 
That's why back there, going back 16, 17 years ago, when you when y'all kicked us out to school, you had you kept changing up doctrines, man. Y'all taught a doctrine, and that and that's bullshit that you said you took two years off because you want to go through the scriptures to make sure you got it right before you went out there. Because I remember there was guys that was down with you that we used to still talk to them, and they said, "Well, look, we're not supposed to go out and teach." Period. Okay. So there was a point that you guys 